<laughs> Hi. So, welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been a while since I have posted. Oh my god. But life has been kind of busy because life has been kind of hectic in a great way. If you actually have been following me on Instagram, you'd, you'd already know that I'm working for this awesome, super cute little boutique. And I do their Instagram stories sometimes. And that's always a lot of fun. I love being creative. Um, but anyways, let's get back to the video because I can just talk on and on about myself. And yeah, actually there's not that much to talk about myself. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys three really simple, all-natural DIY things that I've been using. If you didn't know, all of March, I did not use makeup at uh all. -oh. No full-on face makeup, no fake eyelashes, no eyeshadow, no cover-up, nothing. My skin loved it. In the beginning of March, I had a lot of dry spots, I had some like blotchiness. At the end of March, my skin looked amazing, it was soft, it looked nourished. Here are three super simple DIYs that you can do at home. They're all very inexpensive. Some of them actually reuse some of the things that you already use. Number one is a coffee coconut scrub. So what I do is I mix kind of equal parts of used up coffee grounds that you know I use that morning for my coffee and I mix it up with some coconut oil. Get in the shower, I rub that all over myself. Coffee is actually really good uh, for cellulite and I find that it gives me a sort of tannish glow afterwards after I use this. So your skin's gonna feel super nice and soft and it's gonna look a little bit nicer and glowy. So, whoop, you're welcome. <laughs> Number two is for your lips. After applying a bunch of lipstick and lip products, your lips can feel pretty dry and crackly and nasty, and especially since like the weather outside could, at least here in New York, sometimes it's super cold, other times like right now it's super hot and humid and it just goes back and forth. Your lips, you know, they don't have a chance to just like chill. Like you always have to put lip chap, chapstick, lipstick, lip gloss, you gotta let them chill, you gotta treat them too. So. The number two DIY treatment I recommend you guys do is a sugar lip scrub. This one, again, super easy things you have at home that will cost you pennies. So what I do is mix equal parts, which I think I probably use like um, a tablespoon or something, a tablespoon of white sugar, white cane sugar, and then another tablespoon of olive oil. And I rub it gently in circular motions on my lips for just a few seconds. And then once I wipe it away or to be honest, sometimes I like it away because it actually tastes pretty good. I mean, it's just sugar and olive oil. <laughs> Once you wipe that away, your lips are so soft and I love it. I use this maybe like once every two weeks or whenever I feel that my lips are really, really dry. Number three, the last DIY I want to tell you guys about is something that is <sighs> buy an aloe vera plant. Like, I'm talking about the aloe vera leaf, that big spiny thing that they sell individually at the supermarket. Crack that open and take out all of the pulp that's inside. Put it in a jar and you have a go-to face mask and face cleanser. Well, how I use it is that I wipe the aloe vera all over my face. I leave it on for 15 minutes. It's like, I use it as a mask. And after the 15 minutes, I wash it off, put on my regular serum and moisturizer, but my face after taking off the aloe vera is so bright and moisturized. And like if you have acne scars, if you have like sunspots, like everyone already knows after sunburn you put aloe vera. Well, you know, after you get a pimple and you have this ugly little scar on your face, put on aloe vera on that and that is going to fade your scars. It's gonna help also like brighten your skin. Aloe vera is super amazing. So there you have it guys, uh, my super easy three natural DIY tips for you guys to do at home and if you tried any of these, let me know in the comment section or if you already knew about some of these, let me know and if you know even more natural DIY goodness, let me know, like let's start a conversation, you know, there's so many, yes there are so many amazing products out there, like in the drugstore and everything and for, uh, for some of us, you know, like we don't got money to pay for that. <laughs> you know, sometimes spending like $10 on a face serum is a little too much, you know, even though that's a great price for a face serum, to be honest. But yeah, you know, it's never a bad thing to go natural. You know, you'll save money and you'll look even more naturally glowy. So thank you guys so much for the support. If you haven't already, subscribe. Smash, let's see, let's see if I'll say it like Sophia Nygaard. 
my one of my favorite YouTubers. Make sure to smash that like button and smash that, sub <laughs> that subscribe button. So yeah, guys, show me some love. Turn on your post notifications. I really want to start creating more content for you guys on here on YouTube. I feel like it's just so much fun to do. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.